Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high-fiving sexual organs. Because that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Land calm, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Y'all see what it say. Goodbye. Say bye bye. Ain't no more of this. This no more of that bullshit. Yo. Yo. Welcome back. Oh hello. I forgot. I gotta put the hood up, man. Y'all seeing the headphones and shit. All right. <laughs> Cause I'm over here doing test runs and shit, making sure everything gravy. What's good, y'all? I'm Lord Shoe X. You watching another episode of Lord Perfected Work. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you ain't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check it out. It's right below my face. All right. Woo. God damn. That's a lot of work. Trying to, trying to get I'm. I swear to y'all, bro. This channel, I'm just making it better and better as I go, okay? So believe me when I tell you, I'm putting my heart and soul into trying to make this channel better as time progresses. Each each episode of this shit, things should be getting better, right? Am I right or am I right? It shouldn't be no slack. Y'all gonna get the same Laura Shoe X every time. Y'all want me to be different? I figured y'all didn't want me to be different, man. Y'all want me to be me. Cause that's what y'all, that's why y'all come here. That's why y'all sit here and listen to your boy. And, and even when you not even watching me live, you go, you go listen to these during your, during your lunch hour at work and shit. I done had people tell me, oh shoot, I'm so glad you're doing these. I listen to these when I'm when I'm at work. I appreciate y'all for that shit, man. Share. Share these with your pals. Share these with people you feel like this will help. For real. Cause the more we spread this message, I feel like the better the world will get. Through my message, through my truth. You know what I'm saying? So, today we're going to pick up where we left off on the shadow work, man. This is going to be a more formal episode. And then we're going to talk about these paradigm shifts with the channel. And some things that I'll be doing with the channel that y'all will be seeing. You know, I pretty much already start doing it before I actually became affiliate on the channel. A Twitch affiliate. So, as things progress, I, I kind of want to keep y'all in the loop. So, you're not just like, what the fuck? Is this even Lord Perfected Work? Nah, baby. This is Lord Perfected Work, okay? You didn't stumble into no stripper chat, okay? It's the real deal. 
So, shadow work. What is shadow work? Shadow work is going into your past and your present and making yourself aware of things in your previous life, things in your present life, starting from when you were a baby up until today and making yourself aware of things that make you feel not like yourself. So shadow work is probably most important thing for your future, which is why you go into the past up until the very present moment, figuring out what makes you happy, what makes you sad, what triggers you, what things you don't like about the world around you, what things you don't like about yourself, what things you don't like about people, animals, cookies, uh, fucking smells, all that shit. You just going as deep into learning about yourself as possible using the information that you've garnered throughout your life. And if you are um, very intuitive, your previous life. And I'm not gonna go too much into that because if you already know about your past life and things like that, I don't really have to speak on that too much. Now, shadow work is something that I would consider is a form of therapy. And therapy is a form of shadow work. So if you feel like therapy is something that you need, also I would even consider going to uh, a rehabilitation center as a form of shadow work as well. So if you feel like you need rehab or if you feel like you need therapy, these are forms of shadow work. There's also a couple other forms of shadow work that are more spiritually based. And by this, I mean uh, dealing with energy and dealing with the energies not of the present moment, but more or less in your past, which would be inner child shadow work, which is probably the most common right now because most people are children that just have been forced to grow up really fast or they're children who didn't live a child's life. They've lived an adult life and now they're living out their childhood as an adult. So these are forms of shadow work that you actually can do inner child shadow work. And then there's also a past life uh, shadow work, which for people who resonate with a certain period in uh, the, the time, linear time of this world, there's a uh, certain time periods that people resonate with that they can't leave. So for example, like some people would say that I, I need to do past life uh, shadow work on myself because my channel is called Shoe Loves Rebels and I just can't let go of Egypt or uh, Kemet, which anybody that knows me knows why I named my company Shoe Loves Rebels because my last company was called Sky Lounge Recordings and I had to find something that corresponds with that acronym. And Shoe Loves Rebels was the next best thing because Shoe is the person or deity or energetic signature that I am that resonated with my uh, spiritual change in this present moment. So, you know, I have my connections with that on a personal level. It has nothing to do with Kemet. I can give a shit about them pyramids because they're useless now. As long or as well as the land in Kemet, useless as fuck. So you see how I have no real connection with Kemet, but uh, I can still use the deity's name, Shu, even though it's my fucking name, but I'm not gonna go too deep into this because like I said, I have no connection to Kemet anymore because uh, I'm in America now. I'm not in East Africa anymore, so really no reason for me to care. Same thing with like people who um, also resonate with slavery and they repeat slavery in their previous state of life now, or not previous, but their present state in their life now. Um, I, as you can see, am a person from primordial uh, makeup. So uh, slavery is something that I don't really resonate with at all. Uh, other people have been enslaved 
and they seem to can't let it go or they always do the it's the man the man holding me down ever since this time period and time and blah 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 that sounds like shadow work screaming to be done also to me so this type of uh this type of stuff can hold you back from your destiny and i'm i'm a living testament to that i've spent years being trapped in history the past studying it studying it to understand why things are the way they are now which that's cool there's nothing wrong with that just like when you study yourself and go back into your memories and you remember things what i a form of matter of fact we a family man i'm so cool with y'all i'm a i'm a really just I'm not gonna pull the book out, but I'll, I'll kind of go into depth with y'all about how I did my shadow work. So where I felt like personally in my life where things started going wrong, I started to go back to that specific time period in my life. Cause before that, everything was honky dory. Like the David Bowie album, shout out to David Bowie. Uh, Everything was hunky dory, man. And I pretty much had started uh, gaining a little bit of traction in my music career. I guess, if that's what you want to call it. I wouldn't consider call it that at the time. To me, it was me experimenting with music, trying to find my sound and understanding myself as a musician and as an artist. Because I'm an artist first, a musician second. So I wanted to understand the difference between the two at the time, because to me, they were all one and the same. But in reality, I'm more of an artist than a musician. You know, I'm I turn the mundane into gold. You know, I'm an alchemist. That's what makes that's what makes me different from just being the average musician. So. At the time. You know, things were going good. And then I got this message to come back home because of some money, which I never got, which fucked up my whole path, threw me off my path and everything. So I end up going through a series of events starting from the point I left. Really, to me, honestly, shit started going wrong when I let when I moved away from my parents crib in 2009. Like I should have never left. Honestly, I should have the smartest thing I could have done if I could go back and redo the shit and I'm gonna be honest with you I don't want to go back and redo it because I had so much fun making all those fucking mistakes, man Like of course I was fucking up, but I was having the fucking time of my life y'all like I Can't tell you how much fun I was having because that's that would <laughs> That would take away from the shot of work that I've done to forget all that bullshit but just know, your boy was having fun like a motherfucker. But when I moved out of my parents' crib, I instantly got my own crib. I, I had just turned 19, and I became a manager at Papa John's. So I thought I was getting money. Then I was like, shit, I'm, I'm racking up some bread. I could pay rent and all this and yada yada. End up having to leave that motherfucker. End up having to uh, move to, I ended up moving to Colorado. <laughs> right after that. To go make music and i was working at some lame ass call center and then i was working at the dispensary which was a fucking joke to begin with because for one i i ain't even gonna lie to y'all like i wasn't really super hardcore smoking weed like that like i i started smoking when i was in germany but i wasn't smoking to the magnitude that i was smoking there and the weed that they have in germany was nothing compared to the shit I was smoking in Colorado. But I remember one night we bought a box of Grape Swisher Sweets. And this is just one little memory. We bought a box of Grape Swisher Sweets and we smoked all them hoes. We had bought like, they, the, all right. So the nigga I was staying with, his dad owned the dispensary. That was the reason why I moved out there. And like, it was funny cause his mom gave my homeboy, her son, some money and was like, use the family discount, go buy some weed. So I was like, okay. 
So we went to the dispensary, and the dispensary is called Jackass Dispensary. And we bought some Master Kush, some purple, because you know, me being black at the time, all I was smoking was purple. <laughs> some perp. <laughs> and it was some, oh yeah, mother, uh, the strain they had created called Mother's Helper, bro. They had their own strain. When I tell y'all we smoked all that fucking weed, dude had like maybe three halves like of weed, half an ounce. That's what a half is, a half of an ounce. So we smoked three halves of mother of the mother's helper, the perp, and the um, master Kush. Y'all. <laughs> I was so goddamn wild. Stupid shit. Like, wow, what is the point of smoking all that weed at one time? Seriously. And then the next day, his mom had, she made like these, like, uh, she made edibles at the crib. So, we fucking wake up. I wake up like I'm in the Matrix because I'm so goddamn high. And this nigga sitting in the goddamn, we, we lived in the basement of the house. So, there was like our room, cause we shared a room. And then there was like the little mini living room and then there was the stairs right there. So I walk out into like our little fake living room and he's sitting there in his drawers like drinking, he's sipping Jack and Coke or Jack and Pepsi. He's like, yo, you want some? And I'm just high, so I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take some Jack and Pepsi, bro. Then his mom comes down with these fucking cookies and she's like, y'all try these cookies out. I just made them. So I'm eating the cookies, thinking they normal cookies. And then as soon as I eat them, bro, I'm like, fuck. Nigga, <laughs> this got some weed in <laughs> Like, yo, this is why I did shadow work. Because of shit like that, man. There is no fucking reason why. Why was I doing this to myself? No reason at all. I wasn't sad, so I didn't need to smoke a shit ton of weed to feel better. Just We just smoking because we can. Because we got the tolerance to do it. Now, if if he had caught me when I was really smoking, which was like 2015, like wait, like maybe five years after I, I had left from there. Boy, that shit wouldn't have been nothing. I'd have been like, damn, I wish we had some more weed. I wish we had a, a fucking half a pound. But that just goes to show you, man, certain periods in, in life, will show you where you fucking up at. And that was that was my second fuck up. <laughs> but what I chose to do in my own personal shadow work was I took a book and I started from 2009 to I think I I did the shit in 2020. So I started from 2009 to 2020. It's a pretty good amount of years and I just I laid out exactly detail by detail from the time I left to the most recent time. And I'm just like going through the shit like, you know, details. And then I, whenever I have a problem in my life, I go back and read this book. Like, yo, this feeling, cause I, I know when sh certain shit in my life starts to feel familiar. So I just be like, okay, this, this feels like 2012. Let me go back and see where I fucked up in 2012 so I can Go take a different path. You feel me? I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. So I just gave myself like my own like guide, my own life guide. Because every 10 years of your life, you basically like start over. So every decade, I'm just looking back like, okay, I started over at the beginning of this decade doing this. I started over in the next decade doing this. I took the information from the previous decade and I built on that. But there was these little, this little shit right here. When I got to that point, this little shit right here fucked me up. And usually with me, it's always women. Because like my boy said on the live stream, he said my three passions were uh, music, women, and weed. And that was straight up, those are my same three passions. Music, women, and weed. So if weed wasn't fucking my life up, a woman wasn't fucking my life up, it was the music. I wasn't taking my music serious. So every time I started figuring out, okay, my passions are actually my weaknesses if I don't apply, if I don't apply myself in them. 
So that was just my personal, how I figured, oh shit, okay, so if I don't take this serious, I'm gonna be fucking up. And now, even in 2021, I'm still figuring, like learning these lessons. That's why in my previous stream, if you watched it about, this is the, the formal shadow work stream, the one before that, I pretty much discussed this and was saying that the, the, the road to shadow work is a lonely road because you really have to know yourself. Knowing yourself is, is pretty much the, the bulk of shadow work. Only part where I feel like you dealing with people in shadow work is when you're uh, like getting triggered by other people. Or like 1111 would say, uh, what is the fuck she call it? Gaslighting. I, I fucking hate that word, man. And y'all can call me a narcissist. I don't give a fuck. But I really hate that word, gaslighting. Because to me, all this shit sound gimmicky as fuck, bro. You either, you either doing the shit, you're either being a, a fucking controller or you're being a victim, as far as I'm concerned. And the way I look at life, I'm not the victim. So, <laughs> just call it what you want. I'm in control. I'm just not the victim. So, certain people might fucking might feel like triggered by me saying that but at the same time everybody's everybody's life isn't the same you know what i'm saying that's why shadow work is important if you feeling triggered by what i'm doing then it's time to dive deeper if i'm feeling triggered by what you're saying then it's time for me to dive deeper you feel me you see how that shit works y'all just seen it live but anyways so you can create a journal and do the same thing that I did and record where you feel like a turning point was in your life. It don't even have to be a bad turning point. It can be a good one. I would consider me moving out my parents' crib a good turning point. But at the same time, when you do shit that's good for the wrong reasons, come on. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? See, I moved out on some spiteful shit because I was young. I was a teenager. I was getting money. I started smoking weed like here on, on the premises. So I was getting to the point where shit, man, if I'm going to smoke, bro, I need to like have my own shit and do that shit over there. So I was just like, I'm going to go get, you know, pack my shit up and put my, I still kept my studio and shit here though. So I would even, I wouldn't even make music all the time. I had like a I think I even had a laptop at the moment, but I wasn't even making music. You see how certain things that if I don't have certain things, I start to fuck up because I'm trying to do stuff out of spite. Even though it might be good to the common people, what, what people think you're supposed to do as an adult, it might not have been my situation. And I can, I can say honestly that it wasn't. So you got to see what works for you, what worked for you in the past, what's working for you now. It, it, certain shit will make it to the present and certain shit won't. So you can easily, okay, this ain't working. This this is stupid. This this slowed me down. This bitch slowed me down. This nigga slowed me down. You can take the certain shit that doesn't matter and scrape it off to the side and keep the stuff that you that kind of worked out or because you was on the bullshit, it didn't all the way work out and you can take it into each decade and keep building on it. And building on it more, you start to see a pattern like, okay, this shit working out. You know, I, I got something here. But then, you, as you do more shadow work, you start to realize new things about yourself. Because once you start getting rid of all that baggage, you become open to receiving more. So, shadow work is really important when you want to get, get rid of shit real quick. And start moving into your real, the real you, your real destiny, your real path in life type shit. But it, it takes a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of crying, a lot of snotty noses. It didn't work like that for me. But for somebody who might be a little bit more in tune with their emotions, which I might I might have to do shadow work. I don't fucking beast me. But I'll say I'm in tune with my emotions to where it matters. <laughs> but that could just be me in denial, right? So if anybody got a recommendation for me, Holla at your boy. It might actually be really helpful because I'm not one to shy away from good advice. Now, if it's some bullshit, man, I'm going to be like, nigga, shut the hell up. 
But yeah, somebody who might be a little bit more in touch with their emotions might actually release that information. Like old feelings and old memories and shit like that. What I try to do is I try to look at memories from the good points. You know how you go through a traumatic experience and you always remember the trauma itself. I try to remember the good points in my memories so that when I think about those times, I'm not thinking about the negative shit that took place. I'm thinking about the positive things that happened, even though it might not be anymore. You know what I'm saying? Even though certain shit might not be what it was or you can't fuck with certain people, you can't speak to certain people no more. If you go to those good points, you just always, you, you always have that fresh breath of exhale. Like, ah, man, I hope they doing all right. And you'll be thinking like that instead of fucking hate that bitch. I fucking hate that nigga. Why he do me like, like, you don't need that because that's when you start storing in old emotions and it turns into grief and it turns into fucking pain and suffering. And remember that, remember what I told you about, uh, Fucking having desires and expecting shit. You're going to be fucking suffering. Only person you need to have expectations for is your fucking self. That is that is the number one key in shadow work. As long as you show up for yourself, you'll always win. Show up for you. If somebody got you uh, going, out, going out of your fucking, you know, uh, okay, you're doing shadow work, right? That means you're going to set up a foundation. For who you who you aspire to be to yourself. So if you fucking with somebody who's taking you out of that element, which is very easy to do because you're still insecure about yourself if you're doing shadow work. You don't know yourself. You want to understand yourself. What what makes you tick? What makes you cry? What makes you laugh? What makes you mad? Happy? So if it's, it's easy for somebody who who has known you and your old self to be able to keep you in that energy. Shadow work is gonna make you get rid of people that you don't that you know you ain't supposed to be fucking with, but you do it because man, I'm a I'm a good friend, I'm loyal, or whatever the fuck. You might have some stupid ass reason. I can't I can't speak for you. But I know this, and this is facts. When you get rid of people who shame you, put you down, bully you, bullshit like that, easily you're gonna usher in better people. You let them go. You, you leave yourself open for the universe to bring you the person who will uplift you and who's, I ain't going to say better than you, but who is, you might aspire to be a certain type of role in life. That person, that role that you're trying to be will come, the universe will send you a person like that. Like you might aspire to be a billionaire. The universe will set you up to be friends with a billionaire. And they will genuinely care about you and have unconditional love for you and fuck with you and shit like that. Like, that's how that's how energy works. That's how the universe works. But that's the thing. It's keeping yourself in that, in that, that shadow work. Go, doing that shit consistently every day. Not just once, twice a year. Every fucking day you stay on top of who you are. And you start aligning with that energy every day. The universe is always watching, man. I'm I'm gonna just keep it real with y'all. When y'all think y'all alone, sitting in your fucking room, beating your meat, fingering your pussy, the universe is literally your finger in the pussy, bro. It's literally the, the hand around the dick, bro. Helping you. Come on, bro. You got it. You almost there, bro. You almost. The universe is right there, bro. Okay? Don't get lost in the sauce. Everything you do, as long as you look, it's all in here, bro. You put your mind towards something, right? It becomes magic. I'm telling you, man, this is my life, okay? Things that I can't explain to y'all. I mean, I could explain it, but I'm not going to explain to y'all because it's too deep. <laughs> but I'm just going to let you know. You're never alone. Your guides and your future self literally is with you at all times because you are that self. You're building that self. So that self is there waiting for you to finally meet it. Okay? All the time. 
when you playing with your pussy, when you j- beating your meat, bro, <laughs> they always there. That's why I, I always say in these streams, be mindful. Be mindful. Stay in your energy. Don't let people sway you from your energy. They gonna try hard as fuck because they not in their energy. See, chaos creates more chaos. Balance creates more balance. Y'all have seen Star Wars, I'm sure. Everybody know about Jedi's and Siths. I know I look like a Sith Lord right now. You feel me? I look, I'm on my Emperor Palpatine shit. Okay. Right now, that's what the fuck kind of energy I've been in. Okay. Y'all gonna see the gray cloak soon. But for right now, I'm. Come on. Can't tell me I don't look good as a Sith Lord, man. But that's besides the point. Just know. Just like a Jedi can train another Jedi to be another Jedi. A Sith can train another Sith to be another Sith. Same thing goes with people and their energy signatures. A bitch-ass nigga gonna come around you. After a while, you gonna start acting like a bitch-ass nigga too. A hoe get around you. You eventually gonna start acting like a hoe too. Now, if you in your own energy, you can... Look, see... I'm about, to, I'm about to drop a huge dime on y'all niggas. And I'm not snitching. I don't work with the feds. I'm about to give y'all some game. Now check this out. I'm a trickster, okay? I done said it several times on this on these streams. I done said it several times on this channel. On Keys to the Island. If y'all watch my YouTube. Season 2 on the way. I told you niggas sit back in the meantime. Roll the hay. I know you thinking, damn, where he been at so long in the trenches. I'm, I'm in the trenches right now, okay? But anyways, if you seen Keisha Island, you seen my pr- previous episodes of Lord Perfected Work, I always say I'm a trickster. Now I'm about to drop some game on you. I'm the type of person I can be in any group, any group setting. I can be around any type of person. I can be around straight Thug gangster killers, bro. And I can be around straight nerds. I can be around gay people. I can be around lesbians. Drug addicts, crackheads, psychotic people, murderers, like serial killer murderers. And they'll still be like, you know, shoot, it's just something about you, man. You know, I, I done killed all these people, but I don't want to kill you. I'm going to tell y'all why that is, man. Shadow work. <laughs> when you start to become your own energy, you start to write your own Bible. You start to write your own laws. You start to come up with your own government. You start to make your own TV show called Lord of Perfected Work. You start to make your own radio called Lord of Perfected Work. You start to make your own record label called Shoe Loves Rebels. You start to make your own multimedia empire called Shoe Loves Rebels. You start to create your own religion called Keys to the Island. You start, you know what I'm saying? Like, you start to create your own world. And when people cross your path, it's not about you being in the world. It's not about you being in their world. It's about them being in your world. Because when they cross paths with you, I look at people coming across my path as a blessing on them. Y'all came across my path. It's a blessing on y'all. Because y'all in my world now. Y'all watching ShoeLovesRebels.com on your screen. If you haven't visited the website, you should check it out. You know, uh, it's a lot of good shit on there. It's a lot of great products on this motherfucker. And if you really support in this channel, that means you supporting me and you supporting 1111. Okay, so you should check out her notebooks, her books. Her She just dropped a coloring book for the adults. But I think the kids can color in it too because I feel like they need that shit too. But don't listen to me. Go to the motherfucking website and find out for yourself. I'm about to put on this commercial real quick. <laughs> we about to watch a commercial, y'all. Your 
bronies everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Bye-bye. See ya. See you later. Welcome back to Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. <laughs> and you're watching Lord of Perfected Work. <laughs> See, y'all helping me with my shadow work too. Because peep game. Half Blood Soul and X is my past life. And if this is his last album, we all saying goodbye to the death of my old self together. Bye. See, shadow work is something that can benefit you in many ways, man. So many ways. I mean, you finding yourself will send off a signal in your DNA and your whole family will be healed. Not just you, but the whole family. But see, that's why it takes daily shadow work to truly be the savior within your family. It's gonna take you being able to push through the fucking bullshit. It's gonna hurt, man. I'm gonna let y'all know that. It's gonna motherfucking hurt. But when you come out on the other side, you're going to be a, a warrior. A warrior of the heart. But you got to have faith. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Because I was like, man, I don't fucking know. I was going to hop back in the mic on that commercial too. Like, bye y'all. See ya. But I was like, let me let, them, let, me let the music just, just drip into their brain. <laughs> so y'all understand. Y'all hear the y'all heard the words though. Jabronis everywhere I see. It's feeling like it's rock bottom everywhere I go. Nigga. I study Stone Cold 316. I keep a fish crush can of brew from the fucking stove. You know how sad my life was when I wrote that song? Listen to the fucking words. Why you think it say that? This is the last half blood song X album. Because ain't no more of that. I barely even drink. I don't even drink liquor. If you do see me drinking, it's probably a fish crush can or brew from. It ain't from the store though. I get my shit from a private source. I drink only King Midas beer now. Okay. Cause I'm King Midas. <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all, man. But y'all know what it is. Lord Shoeag back in this bitch talking about shadow work. I hope this this stream helps you. I really do because just like I want to help heal my family through my ascension process, I want you to do the same because more healed families means more peace and love in the world. And that's what the fuck I want, man. That's what the fuck I want for all of us. I want more peace, love, and happiness, man. Alright. Let's get it. Now, for the rest of this stream, I want to tell y'all about what's going on with the channel. Because shit getting gravy in this motherfucker. I mean, I'm getting more uh, ideas about the channel. Like, I'm really loving these sacred symbols that I have on the channel. That's going to help us together. Okay? This is not just for me. This is for both of us. Okay? So you seeing these symbols is healing you. I'm healing myself as I'm talking to you. You dig what I'm saying? Share this with your peoples, man. Help them heal too. Even if you don't ever share none of my shit, share this one. Because <laughs> this is going to help somebody. But, yeah, you know, just getting more ideas on the, uh, on the live streams. Because I want this shit to be a more interactive experience. Like, pretty soon, I want to do polls. I want to do more polls. Just in general, I tried to poll out on Instagram the other day. It was funny. It was it was a cheesy ass poll, but you know, interaction. It means that people connecting with what I'm doing. 
that means people care about what I'm saying or what I'm posting. So it lets me know, helps me gauge how many people give a shit and who I need to redirect to this shit. Because Instagram is just a platform to bridge y'all away from that shit into my world. Yeah, I have a little mini world on Instagram, but it's a very mini world now because it used to be way bigger. But I'm trying to get personal with y'all. So with these new episodes coming up, I'm going to definitely start streaming games. Like on the weekends, I'll probably be doing video game streaming. And I'll probably say this won't start happening really like consistently until after I finish uh, Shoe, Shoe Pro, which is the name, the name of this album that y'all seen the commercial about. Shoe Pro LP is the name of the, the last Have La Son X project. Now, I want to be more interactive with y'all and show y'all behind the scenes of how I do my projects. So when I start doing the Lord of Perfected Work projects, which is what y'all are watching, y'all are literally watching the, the next album. See, that was the surprise I had for y'all. Y'all watching this next album. These episodes that y'all watching, I'm going to turn them into podcast episodes. But we're going to speak on it on a formal level. You know, not just me streaming thoughts, but I'm going to get on, you know, I might I might call 1111 and me and her have a dissertation about the shit. Or we might have a debate about a topic that me and her might be, you know, not agreeing on, which ain't too many topics that we don't agree on. But maybe God will bless us with some ideas. I don't motherfucking know. But there's people that I know that, I'll actually get on Lord Perfected Work with, and we actually will have real conversation. Y'all watch us having our conversation. I'm gonna I'm gonna start making beats live on here for for the music to the podcast that I'm I'm gonna put out as an album. So all of this shit, y'all witnessing literally me doing this shit, and then y'all can take it as a tangible item and listen to it and give the shit to somebody would that you feel would use it because. I'm done making music um, only dealing with rap culture bullshit. Like, I'm off of that culture bullshit. I'm talking about healing. These albums I, I've made, uh, Volume 1, Book of Noon, or uh, Book of Tefnit, then Volume 2, Book of Shoe. I'm sad that it, it rhymes, but it just does. And this Volume 3, Book of Gab, Shoe Pro LP. These, This was my shadow work. This was me healing myself and leaving behind the past. So I want to make this channel be a reflection of me leaving behind all the old bullshit, including the people that came with it, the ideas that came with my sadness, the fucking books I wrote during the sadness, all that shit got to go. So pretty soon I'll be releasing a book to y'all. Uh, the book is called Hybrid Manual. I was going to call it Keys to the Island, but then it would seem like it would be a Bible. And I don't want to write another Bible. Like, fuck that. I don't, I don't want to write a play on words. I'm giving you firsthand experiences and perspective of my life and putting it into a formula that has actually worked for me. A plan that I followed a few times that actually worked for me. But I used them plans on something that had nothing to do with my life. Like following my life purpose and my destiny. So, of course, when you're using the plan that you're supposed to use towards going towards your destiny, what you think is going to happen, y'all? I use this plan to create a record label for a bunch of other people to find their destiny. <laughs> and I end up getting shitted on in the end. Because part of my destiny, or what I thought was part of my destiny at the time, ended up becoming something that actually destroyed the whole shit. So, shadow work, y'all. I know I keep saying it, but it's really important. This shit is the reason I... This channel exists because of shadow work. Okay? It exists because I took the time out to really figure out what is wrong with me to heal myself. Now these paradigm shifts are taking place and the scale is balancing out, which is why I named this shift. This... Not this shift. See? You see? Working and shit... <laughs> Fucking in my brain, dog. This I live this shit, man. This stream is called Formal Shadow Work, Paradigm Shift, and Libra Scale. 
okay? I was in a state of chaos, and now I'm coming out of the chaos and following the laws. My I, balance, okay? Y'all are y'all literally the people seeing this live. Y'all literally the people witnessing this as y'all watch this channel. So, probably gonna do some streaming where I'm not speaking. We're probably gonna do streaming where it's just nothing but my music. And that's instrumentals and songs that I have lyrics over. But it's gonna be nothing but my music. Like Lord X Radio on Pandora. But I'm gonna give it to y'all on Twitch. And you can listen to it whenever you want because Twitch stays open on your phone. I'm pretty sure, you know, all you got to do is just put your AirPods in and you can just listen. So all I'm trying to make it where most of the day I'm pretty much streaming ideas all day long. <laughs> like everything that I can think of, I'm curating this shit to help people out to be their best self. Because this, as I'm doing this for y'all, I'm also doing it for myself. Which is why I want to tell y'all about the paradigm shifts going on with the with the channel. So I'll be making music live. I'll be interviewing people. Also, we'll be um, uh, doing a radio show, doing the Lord Perfected Work podcast officially. Uh, Y'all be seeing me make the music that'll be going on the podcast album live. So the music, if y'all fucking with it, y'all can vote and like, oh, you need to put that on the album. Y'all can vote for the songs that actually go on the album so that y'all can listen to them outside of just that, that episode of it being created. So, you know, just little, little projects of shit that I already had written down from goddamn three, four years ago finally coming to see the light and it's because of y'all so thank you appreciate y'all for watching these streams because y'all giving me an outlet to express myself where i feel like i can be myself you know what i'm saying even though we have some people pop up in here sometimes that be on that bullshit but you know we got to accept them with open arms folks okay because there's always going to be somebody who steps into the club and we want to shoot that bitch up man if we nice to that guy, I'm pretty sure that guy's either only going to want to rob us or he's going to be like right before he shoot the club. Like, hey, man, you might want to go out back real quick because I'm about to light this bitch up. Anyways, y'all get the point. So, yeah, it's pretty much uh, the gist of the paradigm shifts. And really, I ain't go all too deeply into it, but uh, Pretty soon, I'll be announcing something on the channel. I'm going to give it some time because I got to work through a couple things first, the details of it. But when I announce it on the channel, y'all got to definitely share and let people know because y'all basically getting firsthand the shit that's like building the entire channel. So it's going to be exciting. I'm fucking excited. I can't wait to release the new, the new inf newer information. To everybody, let everybody know what's going on with that shit. So, y'all just keep watching. The announcement will come soon. I probably just only make a stream about the announcement. I won't do an entire episode and then mention it in the episode. But, yeah. Definitely gonna uh, keep y'all updated on what's going on with Lord of Perfected Work and the podcast itself and also with Shoe Pro LP. I'm probably not gonna be putting out videos. I think I pretty much came to that conclusion that I'm I'm not. I may just feel like, like oh man, I really love y'all guys and just pop it up on y'all. But keep it real with y'all. As of right now, I'm probably not gonna record anything or stream while I'm making that album, cause it's pretty much finished. So whatever y'all do see will be the ass and tell of it. And it was, you know, I w I would rather y'all see it from beginning to end. Like that's more exciting, cause you're like, damn, I can't wait to hear the finished product. Like oh my god. You know, instead of just, like, popping up, like, two, three episodes of Shoe Pro LP, and then y'all be like, man, I don't even know what the rest of this shit sound like. Like, the whole shit gonna be a mystery to me. Like, y'all helping me create the, the next shit. I'd rather it be like that, so. Yeah, fucking music is definitely about to be a top priority right now. 
And only thing is, I can only make music on the weekends. I can only make music Thursday through Sunday. So Monday through Wednesday, I'm gonna just be on here chatting with y'all. I'm gonna still probably make music like uh, on my laptop and shit, but not for super long because I don't want to burn out the battery on this laptop. Like doing these streams already is pretty much like sucking the life out of my battery. So I'm trying to be smarter about my streams from here on out. You know, I always try to switch it up, go to different places to stream. I always try to charge this laptop up because I don't want to. I don't want to kill my fucking machine too fast because this bitch wasn't cheap. Granted, I'm sure it'll last long and go strong, but it's always good to be smart and precautious, man. <laughs> you know, I don't want to make, you know, the same mistakes I made from the past, you feel me? Shadow work, you feel me? But yeah. So, to summarize, to wrap up the shadow work stream, the formal shadow work stream. Some small things that you can do, quick things that you can do is go back through your life and take note of points in your life where you felt like you weren't being yourself. Um, ask yourself plenty of questions about things that, you know, you feel like if you can make yourself better, ask questions, you know, ask yourself questions like, why do I feel this way when certain people do this? You know, that, that would be a question I would ask myself. Why do I get mad when people call me skinny? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's 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 a good question for somebody doing shadow work about, you know, being skinny, I guess. But ask yourself plenty of questions. Make sure you get plenty of rest. Rest is probably the important thing with that, too, because... Your body going through shadow work is like raising your uh, consciousness level. As you do more shadow work, your spirit, spiritual body grows. Shadow work is like putting fertilizer on a fucking garden, okay? Your shit gonna shoot through the roof. So your body, you, you know, if your body ain't gonna be used to it, how you think your mental state gonna be? You gonna be like, fuck. You're going to start feeling confused. It's like getting high for the first time. You'll be confused. You'll be like, damn, I'm scared, but I like this feeling at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, just all these different things happening. So, rest, getting rest is probably the best thing to do after you do some shadow work. You know, what I would recommend also is dedicating, like, if you're doing heavy-ass shadow work. Now, I say do shadow work every day, but that's how you keep from letting it drain you. When you first start doing shadow work, I would recommend doing like a week straight of just going hard on figuring yourself out and like your ticks and shit like that. Because it's gonna be intense the first time you do it. Now, after a while, you'll be able to do it every day and start going deeper into things about yourself and testing the people around you and testing yourself. Cause then you'll start to understand like, okay, this is something that I do a few times a month, a few times a week, every other day. I need to stop doing this. I need to fix this. I need to open my heart more. I need to close my, I need to uh, stay more grounded in my boundaries more. So that's that's definitely one thing I recommend. Make sure that you eating plenty of fruits and vegetables and drinking a lot of water during shadow work too. Cause when, like I said, your body not gonna be used to it. And when you releasing emotions, it's only gonna release in two types of ways. And I'm gonna let your mind wander on it. So just make sure you drink a lot of fruits, vegetables, and drinking a lot of water. Um, I would even recommend uh, doing fasting or intermittent fasting, which uh, to me, intermittent fasting is you might not break your fast until a certain time of the day. And in that certain time of the day, you have a one hour period. So all day long, I'm fasting. But in that one hour, I'm eating all my nutrients for the day. And then after that, I don't eat again until that same time the next day. That's usually what I do when I do shadow work, like intense shadow work. I'll do intermittent fasting, or sometimes I just fast completely and don't eat anything. Like, uh, I'll start, I'll do a, a dry fast for three days. Well, I'll fast for seven days, right? I'll dry fast for three days, and then the rest of the days, I, I'll, uh, I won't eat uh, solid food. Like, I might eat soup 
and then I'll drink a lot of water. Now, I'm gonna let y'all know, if you're not used to uh, fasting, I will recommend doing like a juice fast, you know, just to keep nutrients in your body. I'm kind of hardcore with fasting. I've been fasting since I was in like elementary school, but dry fasting is not eating food or drinking water. So you're just basically starving for like days. So I usually dry fast for three days because after three days of dry fasting, I start hearing and seeing shit. <laughs> like straight up. And then I do the shadow work. So, you know, I've only done that like twice. So don't think I'm just doing this every month. Like, trust me, y'all. I ain't, I'm not that fucking crazy. I'm pretty fucking crazy, but I ain't that damn crazy. But yeah, fasting helps with shadow work. You can even do a juice fast or a vegetable fast or a fruit fast. That That is good for fasting or not fasting, but shadow work as well. Drinking plenty of water. You should drink water anyways. If you not, if you're scared to drink water, drink coconut water because, you know, it's gone through a plant or yeah, plant filter filtration system. And coconut water is like a natural laxative. I don't know if y'all ever seen uh, Castaway with my boy Tom Hanks. I don't really fuck with Tom Hanks like that, but that movie's a classic. I'm sorry. I know anybody seen it know who Wilson is. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my nigga Wilson. But he was drinking a lot of coconut water in that movie, and that man was shitting like a motherfucker till he found he started collecting rainwater, which I wouldn't recommend doing that if you live in a city. <laughs> don't collect rain. If you live in a city, don't collect rainwater. Unless you got a means, like if you have a, a reverse osmosis system in your crib. Actually, I think it's illegal to collect rainwater. So don't don't collect rainwater. It's illegal. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just telling y'all what it is. It's fucked up world we live in right now. Right now. But soon it won't be. Um, Let's see. What else advice I got for you? Do shadow work alone. Okay? I know... It's cool to have people with you, you know, supporting you. Nah, shadow work is some shit you got to do by yourself. I should have said that at the beginning of the stream, honestly. But shadow work is something that you have to do by yourself. Even if you talking to people and you doing shadow work and you testing them, you still doing that shit alone. They don't need to know that you're doing shadow work. Because then they're going like, oh man, really? It's not going to work. It's not going to work the same. You got to literally do the shit and just let them be pissed off for the moment. You got you to gotta learn yourself and learn other like how you respond to other people and how other people respond to the shit that you do. That's the only way you're going to really fucking know. So shadow work is like something you really have to do alone, completely. Honestly, nobody should even know you're doing shadow work. The fact that I told y'all kind of fucks it up, but you know, I'm used to this. <laughs> I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. So... I'm going to just say the shit and let y'all know what, what I be having going on because that's what Lord Perfected Work is about, y'all. It's about a journey of myself going within. And I hope that my journey within helps your journey within. Okay? Uh, what else I got for y'all, man? Uh, To say that might be it, man. That's the only real good advice. Now, anything else that you learn through that, that's gonna be personalized to your experience. Now, that was more of like generalized things that I could tell y'all that y'all can do. Oh yeah, P plenty of nature. Go outside. I gotta start doing the shit myself, man. I gotta go outside. So, ooh, I know. Let, let's. I'm gonna start a challenge, man. Matter of fact, that's what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start streaming outside. I'm going to start streaming outside. So that means I'm going to be streaming a few times a day. But I already planned on that anyways, you know. So when I go outside to my happy place, I might not even talk. I might just be out in nature filming the water or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Just enjoying nature. But nature is good for shadow work as well. But... I want to say that's it, y'all. 
I appreciate everybody for watching this stream. This is Lord of Perfected Work. I am Lord Shu X. Thanks everybody for watching. Y'all know I love y'all. Get your shot of work up. Y'all let me know in the comments on this video, even after this video ends, y'all will still be able to drop a message in here. Subscribe to the channel if you have a Twitch. If you don't have a Twitch and you watching this from the outside, make a Twitch, subscribe, follow, turn on the notifications so when I go live, y'all get the information before everybody else. Because y'all know I'm not going to leave these up here for long. Pretty soon, you're going to have to uh, to see these videos again. You're going to have to go somewhere else. And you have to be subscribed. And I only can let you in if you subscribe. You did. And don't be giving a password to other people because that's fucking lame. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> y'all weren't, weren't ready for that one. Oh, shit. Damn, he already gone? Yeah, I'm out this bitch, y'all. Much love to everybody. I'm gonna let this commercial play one more time for I slide though. <laughs> Y'all know how to do it, man. <laughs> I'm not this bitch.